The Fairland Dragons traveled to The Rock to face off against the 2022 defending SOC champs, the Portsmouth West Senators. For the past two years, West has fell one point short to Fairland in this contested week one rivalry. Fairland wide receiver Bryson Hunt said it'd be a clash. Every year it's a battle. I mean, the past two years we've won by a field goal. We knew it was going to be a battle. We worked so hard throughout the whole week in practice. Hard work would pay off for the Dragons, but for both teams, it started off slow. With wide receivers like Jeffrey Bishop and Quentin Creamans on each team, both offenses had each other gridlocked for the entire first quarter keeping it scoreless. But the second quarter was a different story. West came out of the gate strong, with running back Mason Parker scoring after only 11 seconds of play. But if there's one thing Fairland can do, it's respond and respond fast. They take one for themselves just over a minute later. Fairland would reclaim the lead from quarterback King Jackson, but only for West to pick the interception and take it to the house. With 20 seconds left in the half, Fairland would respond with a strong offensive drive by Cremans, making it 20 to 14 going into the half. Determined to stay on top, running back Cam Hits would open the third with a TD that had a blocked extra point, making it 26 to 14, but West was determined. West quarterback Cole Tipton would score one himself, and then West would take home another, making it 29 to 26, a familiar story. But before West could get too comfortable, in Fairland's final drive of the game with four seconds to spare, QB Peyton Jackson would take one to the house, and you just have to see this one for itself. Everybody was calling us 17 upset, 17 point upset. We proved them wrong. We're showing everybody that we are gonna go as far as we can go. On a mission to play hard, fast, and violent, Fairland would take home the victory 32 to 29. Reporting for Gridiron Glory, I'm Morgan Anderson.